Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com. Soccer F body cams are making a dent in abuse in Ontario. But the next step might be the hardest. The number of Ontario soccer officials has rebounded from post pandemic lows, but almost half are young recruits and history suggests most won't stay long. Ontario Soccer Chief Executive Johnny Missley was talking to parents over the summer about the video cameras that referees working their children's game were wearing. One person says, Oh, the referees got a camera, I better behave then, Missley said. It was said in a joking manner, but points to the very question the pilot project will hopefully answer, can cameras strapped to the chests of referees not only record the abuse and maltreatment they face routinely, but reduce it by changing people's behavior? Article continues below. The project started in response to a crisis-level shortage of match officials coming out of the COVID pandemic and years of reports that abuse and harassment, from players, coaches, parents and fans, was the number one reason. Ontario Soccer now has 7,200 officials, a big jump from post-pandemic lows, but almost half are young recruits. If history is any lesson, most won't stay long. Amateur Sports Ontario Soccer Body Cam Pilot Project aims to reduce abuse, maltreatment of referees. The footage captured by the devices can be used as evidence, but there is a hope in the that's why the camera data is so important, Missley says. Sport at times, especially amateur sport, is too political, personal, emotionally driven where it needs to be more evidence-based. Some 50 cameras have been in the field since August 2023, focused on under-8 to under-11 games, where referees, families and coaches are starting out, with others used at older levels in the Ontario Player Development League. Ontario Soccer partnered with UK-based Reveal Media, which provided the cameras and is involved in another project focused on adult leagues in the British Football Association. The Ontario pilot is nearing completion, and preliminary findings suggest the cameras are a useful visual deterrent, Missley said. Article continues below Article continues below. People see it and they think differently. And it's showing signs that it's acting as a tool to give the official confidence, especially for more inexperienced referees. But even if the final report, expected in the winter, shows conclusive benefits, it's unlikely that Ontario Soccer will be able to afford the cost, about $1,000 per camera, to keep them or expand their use without government or corporate funding, Misley said. Given how big our organization is, with 400,000 kids that play soccer, and the number of referees that we have, wouldn't that be a great government-funded initiative on behalf of all sport, to find the money for us to put a game ra on every single referee and do a more thorough investigation on the use of the cameras, he said. Sport Canada's safe sport measures and funding have largely been focused on athletes at the elite national level. 